With the new metal opaker, it is possible to increase the opacity level of metal frameworks and reduce the gray value of the final restoration. In order to recreate a natural color base, the light curing composites are available in four light and dark shades, two for the dentine colors and two for the gingiva. First, tissue light or tissue dark shade is applied to the inner and outer gingival areas of the framework, which is then polymerized. Once the polymerization process has been completed, a second layer of metal opaker is applied, followed by a second polymerization. After finishing the gingival area, the same steps are repeated for the dyes. The dentine B1 or A3 color is applied to the outer and inner sides of the metal dyes, and then polymerized. As with the gingiva, a second layer is applied to achieve an optimal opacity level. The monolithic crowns made of Prito 2 dispersive zirconia are then characterized with the ice stains 3D by Enrico Steger. After bonding the crowns to the metal dyes, the gingival area is veneered with gingiva composites. The difference is clearly visible. On the structure part where metal opaker has not been applied, the gray value of the metal shines through. With the application of metal opaker, it is completely covered. With this procedure, restorations on metal primary structures show a high aesthetic quality with a completely natural-looking dentine and gingiva color.